welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to have a hotel review staying at Bondi Junction. Before we get started, just a heads up in the following week, I'm going to have a hotel review on Ibis Stanley Harbour, Sydney, Intercontinental Arthur, Double Tree by Hilton at Rome Monty, and Marion Mella House, Carol. If you are interested in any of those hotels, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now, let's get started. Just to let you know, it has a very, very good location just on that side within like three minutes walking. You can go to Bandai Junction Station just over there and there's a Westfield shopping mall over there as well. Our room has been upgraded from a king bed room to a king bed premium room. So as you can see from the side plan, there are two entrances from uh, for this building. One is on Ox Oxford Street and another one is on Spring Street. Inside, you see the bathroom. Uh, it's a very small bathroom, but I guess it has everything we need uh, for this day. We got a uh, mirror here and two charging outlets, one rubbish bin down there, and a tissue box. And here we got a soap bar, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion right up there, and two hand towels. Here we got an extra roll of toilet paper, and this is a shower cap, hair dryer. On the right side, we got some box towels hang on the wall. We've got a separate shower room. So just be careful when you open this door because it's quite small here. Quite easy to bump into each other. We've got this uh, rain shower head and there's uh, another shower head here. There's no table inside. So there's no space for us to put all the shampoos and sh shower gels inside this uh, shower room, which is really common. And we've got uh, two clothes hooks here. We've got an iron here, an indoor safe. All those stores are empty for storage. Clothing racks and iron book and just some. Uh, this is our king bed. So our room has been upgraded from a 22 square meters room to a 28 square meters room. So you can see it's quite spacious here. And uh, this side table, we got a lime here, quite empty inside. It. That table is quite shaky. On the other side, we've got um, a Bluetooth speaker, a lime, remote control here, and a round table beside that side table <laughs> which is quite funny a sofa dining table with two chairs beside it so just a decoration oh just forgot to say we got this tv now here we got a very very small walking deck with a chair here on this table we got a telephone here we got a charging socket here as well. nice mirror in front of me we got this uh, kitchen here a um, electronic stove here some cartridges inside it. we got uh, some kitchen utensils a pan and chopping fork inside and some cleaning stuff there this is a microwave very small dishwashing machine fire extinguisher and fire blanket inside this cabinet in this fridge we've got four milk capsules we've got a kettle here complimentary drinks here so for this cabinet we've got some glasses and mugs over there and this one we've got some plates and bottles let's check out the view actually the view is quite good i love the view it's quite pretty outside So down here there's a cafe, it says Bonda Espresso Cafe Breakfast and Lunch and that is the uh, New Hill Community Center. Hi guys, it's almost time for us to check out. So before we check out, just as usual, we're gonna summarize the low lights, highlights, and the membership benefits for staying with um, Holiday Inn at Bandai Junction. So I would start with the highlights. As you can see, uh, this hotel is quite new. The hotel room is quite fresh and uh, it's quite tidy and clean, and it's very spacious as well. Also, the price is very reasonable, and it has a kitchen inside it, and it's very very close to the train station. If you 
you want to go to Bondi Beach on public transport, this uh, this hotel has a very convenient location and it's quite close to the shopping mall as well. For the low lights, the first thing I would say is the layout. All the stores are quite close to each other, so when you open the door, you probably kind of bump into other guests uh, who are staying in this hotel. Uh, it's, it's not a very good experience for me. This hotel is quite close to the street. It's a bit noisy in the morning and in the late night as well. I, I've noticed some of the uh, hotel rooms windows is towards to the courtyard, so which means there's actually no views for the hotel rooms. So I think that's a low light for me as well. The hotel has onset parking and the parking rate is $35 per night. I think that's quite reasonable though. Uh, talking about membership benefits, our room has been upgraded from one king bedroom to one king bed premium room, which is great. When I checked in, the reception staff has recognized my platinum member status, but he didn't mention anything about welcome points. Yeah, that's pretty much about this hotel. It's a uh, pretty standard hotel. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to have a hotel reviews on Ibis Stanley Harbors. If you are interested in hotel, please don't forget to uh, turn on your ring bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye!